Another dominant performance from the Detroit Lions as they get the victory at home over the Carolina Panthers, 42-24, as they improved to 4-1 on the season the first time since 1992. And I believe, I believe that was the season the Detroit Lions made it to the conference championship. Lost to the Washington Redskins, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about how good this team looked. A near-perfect game. De- uh, the defensive side of the ball was a little shaky, mostly in the second half. First half was really good. Jerry Jacobs, another interception. Jamison Williams got to see the field a little bit. It was great to see him out there throwing some huge blocks as well. He did have that one drop, but it really did not matter at all. Just didn't get his hands up quick enough, so it wasn't even a drop. Uh, But he looked great. I loved seeing him run around out there, and he was ready to play. Um, Other than that, there's just a ton to talk about. We'll go through some of the players of the game and uh, why this Detroit Lions team is looking like a top five, maybe even a top four team in the NFL right now. So obviously as David Montgomery runs into the end zone with Jameson Williams with that amazing block, by the way. What a block. That was was awesome to watch. He played great. Um, We're going to go through this game uh, start to finish. First, we're going to start with the final score, and I do want to mention, you know, Panthers, 24 points. 14 of those came from the referees. Uh, There were really bad rough in the passer calls that, you know, Roger Goodell, you know, what are you doing, man? This, This league is not, we're not playing soccer here. This is... You're supposed to hit, right? And I get Bryce Young's small. The one on Anzalone was a questionable call. I wouldn't say it was a horrible call because he, did, he didn't He did lead with his helmet or anything. It wasn't anything that bad. The only issue was that his arm, his forearm, went into Bryce Young's like neck area, which, you know, what are you going to do when you're playing a two-foot quarterback? So it's, it wasn't on Anzalone. I thought it was a really weak call. It didn't even hit him that hard. And the one before that, I forget who sacked him or – I think he got the ball off right as we were going to sack him, and then they ended up calling a, just the worst roughing the pass call I think I've ever been able to watch live. It was terrible. I I was just annoyed with the referees, and they got 14 points off those, so it was just really bad. Refs were not on our side for that, but you know what? I'm not going to sit here and talk about the refs um, because we ended up winning by 18 anyway. It was just kind of annoying that we had to give up two touchdowns because of bad calls that shouldn't have happened, but it was whatever. No big deal. Um, starting with the first quarter, Went up 14 nothing right away. It, we made it look easy. The defense was doing what they do, you know, just plain solid. Aiden Hutchinson, one-handed interception. Don't know if that guy was made in the lab or what, but he, he right now is definitely on pace to possibly de- be defensive player of the year. Obviously, he's already fifth, has the fifth best odds to win it. He could easily win it this year. He's having a great start to the season. And then, obviously, there was the fumble recovery for will harris i think that was the second or third turnover of the game that we forced um but yeah so we were we were dominating defensively we were forcing turnovers and that was the one thing we needed to do right i mean win the turnover battle and you're gonna win the game um we did have that turnover on downs where we went forward on fourth down didn't get it didn't really love that call there i just wish we would have probably punted that um i think we ended up getting the ball right back anyway and then we scored so didn't matter but um, it was nice to see, uh, you know, we had no Amon Ross St. Brown or Jameer Gibbs. We were missing both of them. It's nice to see Marvin Jones get some action. It was nice to see Craig Reynolds get his first touchdown. Josh Reynolds had a huge game. Laporta had a huge game. Jameson Williams got to do some stuff. Only had two catches for two yards. But, man, I mean, he was on a limited snap count. Can't wait to see what he does next week. Um, we got to see Dylan Drummond, Antoine Green in the game. I don't think they did anything. but And then uh, along with that, Khalif Raymond had a nice game as well. David Montgomery, obviously that 42-yard touchdown run, just they looked amazing. And then, um, yeah, the offense overall was awesome. Defensively, Aiden Hutchinson, the dude was made in the lab. The Freaking one-hand interception. Uh, there's the uh, Jerry Jacobs interception, which was super nice. Here's that flea flicker off the interception to Sam Laporta. That was beautiful. I watched that. I was, I was jumping around my living room. That was an exciting play, uh, an exciting just that's when you just kind of rem- like realize like damn this team is for real like we just we looked good dominated an offense 42 points a beautiful play just ben johnson perfect too easy easy touchdown but it was awesome defensively hutch with the interception you had uh we didn't really get a lot of sacks which is kind of weird it kind of i don't know what it was i don't think the panthers o-line is good at all and they're missing a couple guys as well should have got a little more pressure, but you know what? Run defense was there again. Not as good today, but definitely good. And um, Jerry Jacobs had the interception. That was awesome. We had the forced fumble. Will Harris would pick up. 
And then I think there was one other interception. Or no, it was Bryce Young had three touchdowns, two interceptions. So never mind. But we did force three turnovers. Love to see it. Love to see Adam Thielen losing to Detroit Lions per usual. And um, great game overall. I really thought the first half kind of just established the the dominance that we had. Um, you know, we and we could have had four or five. We could have easily had four or five sacks on Bryce Young, and he's just that really annoying, elusive guy that can scramble and make guys miss and use his elusiveness to throw the ball away. And like, you know, he's way more elusive. He's probably one of the most elusive quarterbacks in the NFL. So he's good at avoiding sacks. So it wasn't a big deal, but um, we got in his face a lot. We got some pressures, but defensively, man, we looked. I don't want to say great i would say good only because of the turnovers you know if we didn't get any of those turnovers we would have given up probably 30 maybe even more than that because this team i don't even know if the panthers punted i'm trying to remember when they punted and it's just I, it's not coming to me i probably missed it i'm sure they did but it's just not like it's not coming to me for some reason i'm pretty i'm, I'm pretty positive they did though but either way uh we definitely struggled um stopping them now turnovers was a different story we were able to force three turnovers and that was the story of the game offense was able to capitalize off them all so it you know wasn't a big deal but the uh defense definitely still do i think the secondary was definitely uh, not as good today you know kirby joseph was back that was nice uh cam sutton did not have a great game uh, he only gave up you know if, he, he was fine he gave up a few catches but he did give up that touchdown um, which came off of that you know horrible penalty from the refs, but it was whatever. And give up the touchdown shouldn't have shouldn't have happened. But um, he had you know he's been great this whole season. Probably not his best game there, but it, he has been good. Manuel Mosley, man, I really hope he's okay. I, I have not heard anything. I'm guessing that Monday we will hear whether or not he's going to even be able to play the rest of the season. It didn't look good. I'm really hoping it was just a ankle sprain or rolled ankle or something and uh almost a safety right there i remember that i, I almost thought we were gonna get a safety right there for because of the intentional grounding but, but yeah so um sorry i'm just kind of rambling right now Emmanuel mosley hope he's okay um other than that defensively it was okay i think the d-line played okay secondary wasn't as good but it, today was really just the story of the offense like i said earlier no amon Rossine brown no Jameer Gibbs, two of your best offensive weapons in Amon Ra probably being your best. And we were able to put up 42 points. That's It's really impressive what this team is able to do. Not fully healthy. I mean, offensively, we're definitely more healthy. Uh, we are, we're only missing, I think, two starters. I, I think Vitae was out, actually, too. But the fact that this team came in and was able to put up 42 points, missing two of their probably three or four best offensive weapons was, to me so impressive 42 points you gotta love it at home just a dominant win 18 points could have been more should have been more whatever 18 points three possession win You'd love to see it we look like we look like a top three team in the nfl and uh after the cowboys getting demolished by the 49ers i think we're gonna be a top three team in the nfc obviously we have the eagles niners still undefeated but my goodness, we are second. We have the second best record in the NFL right now, four and one. Uh, well, I think we're one of like I don't know, like two or three four and one teams. So this team's for sure a top five team in the NFL. I think in you know, the last couple of weeks I was a little skeptical. After the Packers game, I thought you know okay you can put us at five. Now I'm like confirmed like you know Cowboys you can't put them ahead of us. They you know they look dominant in the games they won, but the games they lost they look horrible. They're just such an up and down team. You want to look at other teams in our division, the Green Bay Packers, eh, not too worried about them. I think they could win 10 games, but that would be hard to do. Their schedule's really favorable. That's the only thing that, about it, to be honest. They really don't, you know, they're not that much of a threat to us. As long as we take care of business against them on Thanksgiving and, you know, finish in the division at least 5-1, and one, we'll have no issue winning this division. Right now, I only see maybe two or three games. I could really see us losing but man, what a win. And um, we definitely are top three team in the NFC, top five team in the NFL. This team is dominant. And I think, you know, after this performance, it's going to come down, you know, to a big one next week in Tampa Bay. Uh, it's a three and one Tampa Bay team. It could determine who is the three seed at the end of the year because Tampa Bay's looked good. Baker Mayfield, if he continues to play how he's been playing, 
the Bucks are going to be in the playoffs. They can win nine games, make the playoffs. So we'll see. It's going to be a pretty big game. I think it's going to be significant. Hope the guys show up. Um, but a great win today. And hopefully they keep it up. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys thought of the game. I'll see you next time. Peace.